going to be doing a Mod Mondays Live with the Sparks Cycle Works Bandit. Definitely got to have my cup here with me. Um, so yeah, we haven't been live or haven't seen you guys in, in a little bit. Uh, I guess let me patch up with you guys. Let's see, we, we got sick. So we've been, we, we were sick for what, like two weeks and finally started. Dee's not going to be on the chat with us, unfortunately, but um, maybe, maybe she'll hop in in a second and and help me out with some of these questions are gonna pop up in front of me. But uh, yeah, so we got sick, we got the vid. I started off with it first, and then she got it like a few days later. We we're Yeah, we we're pretty much sick for like two weeks, and we got a snowstorm, it's been cold, it's been rainy, I haven't been able to hop on my bikes too much lately, but um, we did get a Spark Cycle Work video out like last week, and then a, a Varla, and uh, the Kugo, Cabo, Cabo, <laughs> Kaboop, Wolf King, GT. <laughs> um, I do have a lot more videos in the pipeline and it works. Uh, we still got to unbox the zoos for D. Still got to unbox the Ringo. We still have the, uh, the Ringo is the Ray Volt. We still got the Ray Volt Cruiser, the Torino behind me. We still got the V2 Grizzly to unbox, and we're definitely going to the sand dunes with that sucker right away after we get that unboxed. Um, man, am I forgetting any, any more bikes that we're unboxing here? There's a lot of stuff on, on, on the channel coming up, and we'll be doing a range test on the Zoos 1100. I'm gonna do a video teaching Deanna how to ride an e-bike for the first time, because she's never ever used uh, throttle on an e-bike, so I think she's gonna She's gonna have, have maybe a hard time learning on that, but we'll, we'll get her up to par on that and she'll be up on group rides with us in no time. So stoked about that. Let's see who's all in the chat. I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Sorry if I look down and let me know if this mic is working because last time, last week, or it was like two or three weeks ago, we did the Mod Mondays on the zoos and this thing was not working. So hopefully it's working this time, but let's see who's all in here, Michael. <laughs> Michael Hawk. My Hawk is in here. That's awesome. Uh, Angelo, what's going on? Raphael, what's up? Yoho Son, what's going on? North Carolina. Paltima's in here. So, yeah, pretty much everything we're going to be doing, I, you, I'm going to need your help on installing this because I have no freaking clue how to install the fairing. They, I have a bunch of different bolts and I don't know what goes to what. So, I may have to <laughs> surprise. Uh, Matt, the engineer from uh, Spark Cycle Works with a little FaceTime call on this phone. So <laughs> I, that's why I have this ready too. So yeah, definitely um, you guys are going to help me out installing these things. But let me, say, let me finish saying what's up to everybody. Paltima, Leo, what's going on? Sondalorian, what's going on? Caesar, what's up homie? Caesar out here in DC. I got to make a trip towards you so, you can, so we can ride. We should definitely ride soon. I'll definitely love to ride with you. That'd be awesome, dude. Uh, Paltima, geek to see D riding. Me too, finally. She got some platform shoes, so she's like five foot two, five foot three, so she'll be able to fit on the zoos with like these little platform shoes, so it's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked. Jimmy Elliott, what's going on? Long time no see, what's going on? Um, he said, hey, what's up? Loon, what's going on, brother? Good to see you in the chat. David Cole, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. So, um, yeah, have, haven't been on for a while. We're going to do a little mod on the bandit. So let me show you the first thing. I'm going to, I think I'm going to start with the fairing first. So it's like a little kind of like cafe racer style like fairing. It's not completely black see-through, so it's kind of like tinted. So I'm thinking it, it may help out with a little bit of the wind to get your lower regions not as cold. I don't know, who knows. But it'll look cool, make that area look a little neater. But you guys are going to help me install it and figure it out. So let's hope uh, we can get this done and we don't have to FaceTime <laughs> Spark Cycle Works. Actually, FaceTiming them would actually be pretty fun, though. These in a the chat. Hi, babe. Good to see you. You're literally right over there. Oh, right, by the way, is my mic working? This mic? Can you hear me tapping it? Yep. So what's up, everybody? All right. Fairing is going on first, and then we got this grill that we're putting on second on the side. So whenever we want to cook some food, this pops up and a little grill comes out. It's pretty crazy. No, I'm just kidding. This is um, actually just a little cargo rack. It's kind of crazy how it pops out. It's a little scary. Hold on. Let me just get it right in front of me. <laughs> I'm scared. 
Yeah, so that's that's how the rack works, which is pretty cool, man. Like you can put that on both sides and have like quite a bit of room on there. So that's gonna be awesome being able to, to carry things on the side there. Pretty little clever design this thing is. <laughs> So we're gonna figure out how to mount that. I, I know I definitely gotta pull that seat off, so that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to keep up with the comments while I'm doing the mod, so it's gonna be hard. Hopefully, I don't know if D changes her mind, maybe she'll pop in here and uh, grab the mic. The mic is literally in the room right there with her, so she can grab and help me out. Um, so let me just get all, everything that I have for the fairing. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if, I'm thinking this stuff, goes with this, I think, because these are like super duper long bolts. And I think this is for the fairing because it has like these little like plastic things for both sides, I guess, so it doesn't scratch up um, the plastic on the front and back. So I'll hop in the comments here in a second. So what do you guys think? Do you, should I mount? Here's like the mount for it. So. I'm pretty sure this little piece down here goes on the headlight here on both sides. I've, can you guys see that? So it's gonna go something like, I don't know if that's on the, yeah, that's on that side like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So do you guys think that's how it goes? I, I, think, I think that's right. I think that's right. So I think I'm gonna mount it on here first. And then I think I'll mount it on there a second. So let me see what you guys think I should do. Or should I mount, put the mount on here first and then put, I, I think I should mount it on there first. Mike is working fine. Awesome. I'm so stoked. I think what I had to do is I had to reset my phone. Like sometimes you got to reset your phone every few weeks or something, or maybe every week. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go back, guys. Hold on. Hey, guys. Uh, Jimmy Elliott, David Cole, uh, Loon, happy you're back. Deanna Johnson, we're in Delaware. We're actually, we're gonna have to be moving pretty, we're gonna have to move pretty soon uh, in May. So we've been looking for a place to live. We're hoping to stay here at, in Delaware in the beach, but we don't really know if we're gonna go somewhere else other than Delaware, maybe Florida, maybe, I don't know. Who knows what's gonna happen? Maybe we'll get a camper and put a bunch of stuff in storage and just roam around with some e-bikes and meet a bunch of you guys. Uh, Josephine says, hey, we're new to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out for, uh, for Mod Mondays with us. We really appreciate you on the channel here. It'll keep the wind off your crotch. That's about it. That's, I really actually need that a lot, especially around here. And like when it gets really cold and you're riding, it gets a little cold down there, guys. I know too much information, but. <laughs> Raphael says he has uh, two cargo baskets. That's, that's freaking awesome to have, man. I love these. I love it. I love the design. It's cool. Just hopefully it doesn't pop open when I'm riding or something. It like scares me or something. Donald Bug, what's up, Shreddy? I'm in the frozen tundra of upper Michigan. Oh, my goodness. I know it gets like in the lower like 18s, lower 20s, even lower 30s down there. Negative 30s, I mean. <laughs> that looks correct. Put the brackets on the fairings first. It'll be easier. That's, I needed you on this. I needed you on this today, Fatima. <laughs> Loon said, come to Boston. Dude, I need to go to Boston. That, that would be actually pretty freaking fun, Loon. Mount the brackets first. Thank you, Angelo. Russell, what's going on, brother? Isn't Delaware kind of small? Uh, how does one move without stepping outside of it. That is true. There's actually a really cool spot in the, in the tri-state area where you can step in like Maryland, Delaware, and Pennsylvania all around this like little rock. It's pretty neat that you can hop states. <laughs> move to Melbourne, Florida. I'm going to move there this fall or next year. That's awesome, dude. I want to be like literally on the water. I want to be by the beach at all times. I love, I love riding my e-bike on the beach. That's the most fun thing that you can ever, ever do. The, the feeling of it, it feels like you're literally floating on clouds. It's insane. Like no bumps at all. You're just like, just silent. It's awesome. What's up, homie? Stay up. <laughs> Charlie, what's going on, brother? All right, so we're going we're gonna to figure this out. I'm going to point this camera down a little bit. So... Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me know if you guys want it like closer or what. 
where the bolts are gonna go. Hold on. So I need four for here. Okay. Let's see how many I got. Okay, I got four right there. Let me just get everything separated. There's a lot of those little plastic things. That's gonna be fun. Front and, front and back. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the one for this side. So I'm gonna put, man, this, this feels like it's gonna be crazy. All right. Plastic thing first. Nope, <laughs> fail. Oh, this is like so thin, it's like so hard to get off the floor. <laughs> All right, plastic thing, then this. You guys know I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess something up. I'm gonna have to redo things, like, you, you know how it is. I might have to just put all the plastic things on the floor. That's just gonna have to go like that. I think this goes backwards, guys. I think I'm backwards. Redo, guys, redo. I'm gonna try to read the comments. Those plastic washers should have a lip that goes into the hole, but sometimes they're just flat. Oh, good idea. I don't feel like there's like a, yeah, there, it's just flat. So go like that. Let me just do these two like that. So put, oh, can you see that guys? Like that, right? I hope that that's right. Okay. And then, Oh, I already got the mount for this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this all mixed up. <laughs> Help me out, guys. I wish I had some, some extra hands. Th this seems like it's so long for that, huh? Okay. Like, should I have washers or something? I'm gonna get this all finger tight. I don't even have tools out right now, guys. What the heck is my problem? I'm just getting everything like finger tight. Got the plastic on both sides. So far we got that. Hopefully I got the screws to uh, get them mounted. Open door. It's raining here today, guys. So dreary out, dreary, dreary. It's gonna get a little bit warm, which I'm pretty stoked about for the next couple days. So I'll be doing some videos. Super stoked. Oh God, these plastic things are like so hard to see. All right, remember. Plastic. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Should I go down more? There we go. Dude, these plastic things, <laughs> they're the worst. There we go. Now that's in. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. And that's one. Get <laughs> these screwed on there. Guys, I, I, I miss riding my e-bike so bad. I've been just sitting at the window, just staring outside. My Saron's right behind the camera, just sitting next to the door, ready to go. <laughs> and I'm definitely ready to get that Zoo 750 unbox. There we go. Guys, remind me to like retighten these down when we're done. I'll tighten everything down once I get everything kind of like mounted on. This thing's on there pretty good though. <laughs> Just use my fingers the whole time. All right. That's that. All right, let me see. We got more screws. We have these. They kind of look like earrings, like little plugs. <laughs> but I'm sure there's some sort of spacers. It's two of them. So, here goes more stuff that they sent me. Um, but again, these are just too shreddy. Oh, 
Duh, I gotta use the screws that are already in the headlight. Duh. <laughs> all right, let me get you guys a little bit closer to me. Uh, all right. There's like all this stuff I gotta move around. Hold on. Oh, don't spill my drink. Let me get a drink here. Let me check, let me check some comments, hold on. <laughs> Put the brackets on the fan and then boss in, hold on. Oh man, I gotta catch up. Oh, Curtis, what's going on, bro? How you doing, how you doing? Good to see ya. Paul, some of those plastic washers should have lip. Oh, yep, I read that, oh crap. Got my fat tad finally, nice. Need a washer on both sides. I See, I don't know if, look how big these washers are. I don't think these are it for that. I don't know what's going on. That, you might be right. That might be, you might be correct. And then this is for the other thing. It's these like plastic, I don't, what's the plastic thing is for? We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna figure it out. It's, it, it, I need D to read these comments. D, tell, guys, can you tell D to come help me, please? Shred, do you ride motorcycles? I don't ride motorcycles, but I do have the Huck right behind there, and I do ride the Surah, and they're kind of like motorcycles, but I, I do have a, um, a motorcycle endorsement. I have a license for it. And guys, don't forget, I do have links for all these e-bikes, discount codes for, discount links for all these e-bikes, except right now for the, um, Aerial Rider, for some reason, took away our discount codes, but you can still use the link if you want to support the channel. Hopefully, we can get those discount codes back. You should be okay with just a screw and a washer, though. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave that, Paltima. It's only going to start warming up. I can't wait till it starts warming up, guys. I cannot wait. All right, I'm, I'm going to put the phone down and kind of just start... Uh, Get, I, I need tools. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got the tools right next to me. Let's get me in here. Let's get in here. What's the range on the Bandit with the dual batteries just using throttle? So the last video I did when I did the range test with uh, Bomber Marv and he was on the Kona, when the battery was dead, that was pretty much half the battery. And I think we did like 22 miles. So I'm thinking about 40 plus miles if we would have taken a battery straight to dead. Let's see, what size? Fuel 14? Nope. Oh, we're going straight to 12? All right, hold on, let me pull out the other ones. I think it's gonna look cool with the fairing. I'm pretty stoked about that. <clears throat> Little slight cafe racer style, I guess. Um, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do the cafe racer handlebars on there because I don't like that stance. It's not as comfortable of a stance. Hey, D, are there any comments? <laughs> Hold on, let me. I'm gonna open this door so maybe she could like read out loud comments. D, help me. <laughs> She said no, guys. She's so mean. <laughs> she's been working hard though. We've been looking for a house, and she's been doing a lot of, lot of searching. <laughs> Hopefully, we can still live, live here in Delaware. I mean, I don't know. We don't know what we're gonna do. We're trying. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. What's going on? <laughs> Should I do one side first? I guess. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull out both sides. On there. Oh, don't scratch up that guy. Don't scratch it up. My method is violated. Yeah, Shreddy needs tools. My birthday's coming up February 20th, fellas. <laughs> 220. All right, this is gonna drop, so when that happens, I'm gonna have to be ready with the fairing. 
Can you guys see everything pretty all right? Just let me know if you guys need me to move anything. Something's going on. Ugh. We'll move back a little bit. How about that? So I'm just going to unscrew this other light. Screw on the other side here. I kind of want to switch these headlights out to something like a single, single bulb headlight. Oh, crap. All right. Please rest there and don't fall. It's going to fall. I, 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 it's going to fall. <laughs> all right all right so my guess is that goes on the inside or should i put it i'm, I'm thinking Ooh. <laughs> that's what i get for shaking it up all right inside or outside i think out let's do outside i think this headlight please don't 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 move Hold on, you guys gotta tell me inside or outside. Hold on, I'm gonna go through the comments. Guys, tell me inside or outside. What's up, New York? Manny, what's going on, brother? Inside or outside, guys? Ugh, ugh. All right, we're gonna try outside. We're gonna try outside. Or should, should, should I hit up, um, you need to back this thing up. can you not see my, really? Oh, there we go. This is hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me get one screw just started on it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that, that was close to my face. There we go. Oh, there we go. See, we can do this, guys. We got this. That was close again. There we go. Yeah? Angle it up. I think everybody can see me pretty good. Do, do you guys want to see my face or what I'm doing more? <laughs> I think they want to see what, what I'm doing more. All right, what do you guys think about that? It kind of covers the headlight a little bit. Oh, I could raise it up. There we go. There we go. Should I tilt it like forward or keep it, I guess tilt it forward a little bit, like right around there? Oh, the headlights. Let me get this a little more finger tight. That looks cool. Almost looks like a police bike now. <laughs> oh man, let's tighten it up. Let's tighten. Wow, that does look pretty neat. I like that. Get that fairy and keep the crotch warm. <laughs> I think it, on the outside is fine. It, it looks good. I don't want to. I don't want to get that super duper tight. I want to still be able to kind of move the headlight though. I don't mind it covering part of the light, but it would be cool just a single headlight right there, I think. What do you guys think? That's broken from transportation. <laughs> cool, guys. That's pretty sick. I like it. All right, I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. Awesome. That, that kind of went, uh, that went pretty good. That went pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Normally stuff goes really wrong with these Mod Mondays, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. Ugh. I still had extra, those little plastic things. Okay, I used them all. I used all the ones I needed to use. I just don't want to lose these ones in case. I'll throw them in my toolbox bag, toolbox bag, whatever you want to call it. All right. I'm going to go through some comments and then we'll hop on this next mod. I got to take the seat apart and then we're going to hang that rack on the back right there. And um, let's go through all this stuff that's with this rack. I don't, I'm not even sure if all these washers are for it or what is going on with the washers. So we got a ton of washers. What, what did he send us? One, two, three, four. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? 
we're gonna hit up uh we're gonna hit up Spark Cycle Works <laughs> on Instagram, uh FaceTime. Oh my god. Where are they? There we go. I don't know, let's see if they answer. <laughs> let's see. Can you guys see? <laughs> I'll go through the comments here in a second. But I don't I don't even know if they're gonna answer. What the heck? Why is that why is it like blurry? I hope he hits hits us up back or if he doesn't answer up. <laughs> mm, come on, Spark. How do I turn off like that blurry background? I hate that. I don't think they're gonna answer. I don't think they're gonna answer. Maybe I have to, I'll, I'll text uh, Matt the engineer. Okay, we'll stop. All right, so washers. We're gonna see how many washers we got this sucker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight washers. Don't need that anymore. Throw that off to the side. Gotta have my spark mug. And guys, uh, in the comments, let me know what what bike do you guys want to see next unbox? Like, which one are you the most hyped about? Are you more hyped about seeing D on the Zoos unbox that next, or Shreddy on the Ringo unbox that next, or Shreddy on the Grizzly V2 unbox that one next? So let me know which one you're more hyped about on the three unboxings, because I still do have two bikes back there that I haven't reviewed yet. So those aren't going to get unboxing because they're already put together. All right, tools. Nuts and screws and bolts and plastic sleeves. All right, so oh. we got two of these long screws. You guys are gonna have to help me figure this out. <laughs> I have no freaking clue what, what's going on with all this stuff. So we got a little straw. This, it's, this looks really bad. It looks like some kind of, it looks bad. <laughs> so we got a little straw and two big straws. And then we got the two screws. Actually, we got two little straws and two big straws because I just dropped one. So two little straws, two big straws, and then two long like screws and, and nuts. And then we got this. I, I don't I don't get it. We got these plugs. What up? Bikes looking dope. Thank you, Super 73 T Tap. What's going on? All right, so yeah, we got these things. I don't I mean, they look like, and that goes through my ear. <laughs> so we're going to try to figure this out. I know I'm going to have to take off the back rack or the back of uh, the seat and hook this in between these two bars. I'm pretty sure that's exactly where I'd want it. Something like that, like there, wherever it's going to fit like that. And then the screws, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that that's why they gave me the sleeves. Maybe one of the, do you think that's right? Like that, and it'll tighten down, or is it just gonna be the little mini sleeve thingy? Kind of put that, is that what that's for? Hold on. I'm just gonna push that through. <laughs> this is fun trying to figure out things like this. I'm going to read the comments here in a second, guys. D's in here. D, come on. You can answer. All right. So that's another thing, I think. So the sleeve is in there with the screw. I don't, I don't even know why you'd really need the sleeve. Oh, so you don't scratch the paint. So you don't scratch the paint. You guys are smart. Okay. And then the washers. I, that's what I don't really get. So am I gonna put a washer like, I don't know, on the, on, let me see, hold on. No, I don't even think I need a washer. Let's see what's gonna happen. We're gonna see what's gonna happen, guys. Let me read, uh, let me read through some comments. I'll read like 10 comments and I'll hop on here, take the seat off and everything. Should I, should I try Spark again? Nope, they didn't even see the missed call. That would have been fun. Oh, lots of lots of comments, lots of comments. Um, I'm just I'm gonna try to catch up on these comments.
when you, uh, Yoho san, well, when you order a bike, do you keep the extra protection plan or the extra money or do you take that off your cart? I, I usually never get the protection plan on really anything unless it's like, uh, I usually get protection plans from stuff I buy from Best Buy, <laughs> like video game systems and controllers and stuff like that. And I always use it like right before it goes up, right before it's over, like I'll exchange it for a new one or whatever. And I actually do that with my toothbrush too. <laughs> they, they update the uh, Sonicare toothbrush like every two years. So I keep a two year uh, agreement and every time, uh, you know, two years is almost up, I, get, I go there, I get the newer and upgraded better toothbrush and then I get another two year plan on that for like 40 bucks. So I upgrade my $200 toothbrush for like 40 bucks every two years. <laughs> so if you guys don't, ever, don't do that, that now you know, you can do stuff like that. Yoho son, I already read that. Uh, da, 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 the, the. Trying to catch up. All right, there's Manny from New York. I read that. If you guys are interested in any other headlight, check out the headlights from uh, Wicked Thumb. Go to wickedthumb.com and use code SHREDDY, save 5%. And the Wicked Thumb headlights, that one right there. You guys see that? Over there. Man, that fairing does look pretty cool. I just got to figure out what I want. Guys, remind me to tighten that up really good. Really, really good. I do need a, another set of hands. <laughs> Call Bomber Marv. Do you guys want to talk to Bomber Marv? <laughs> we might do that. I know the Bandit is technically an e-moped, but I will still consider it because I think it's awesome. You can definitely um, ride the Bandit not as an electric moped. You can still ride it as a bike. Just keep it to the legal limits in your state. I still haven't registered this thing. I ride it everywhere. And I, I have my VIN, num my VIN plate over there um, and everything to get it registered. Uh, I think I might register it after. I, I want to upgrade it. I want to make it go faster than what it goes. Um, and I want to upgrade it. That way I can hang with the scooter guys, with the scooter crew around here. The electric, or the uh, gas-powered scooter duders. <laughs> Leo, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Sticker bomb that shield, you think? I like, the, I like seeing through it. It looks cool, but maybe. I, oh, 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 oh. My, um, my freaking, uh, my logo, Shreddy McSkate logo is, is pretty much done. I have a sticker right here and I can't show it to you guys yet. <laughs> I'll have a reveal soon. I'll, I'll have, uh, when I do the reveal, I'll, I'll have shirts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the shirts through like the Amazon or, um, what's that Teespring company, or I might just do like an order of like 50 shirts here and have you guys purchase them, uh, through me or whatever and PayPal and I can send it through, through a uh, mail and I can throw stickers on there. Cause I got so many freaking stickers here from like super 73, uh, Let's see, I think I might have some Spark stickers. I got a lot of Wicked Thumb stickers. Uh, not too many Huck stickers, but yeah, I'll, I'll throw stickers in, in with the shirts also. And I'll do, I'll do stickers, Shreddy McSkate stickers. I'm gonna have Shredheads shirts, the logo Shredheads. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. The, the logo is, um, it, it's, it's kind of like a caricature of me. Like, I don't know, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be cool. I can't wait to, to have merch out and I'll even have the little shred heads or shreddy McSkate uh, coffee mug. <laughs> Holy crap, from Quebec, Canada. What's going on, Marcel? How are you doing, brother? How do you like that puppy? Do you like it better than the Super 73? Um, lately, I've been, I've been riding this more than a Super 73 recently. But I still do love my, my uh, RX. I love my RX, especially after putting the dual batteries on there and then... Um, getting the, the stickers I wanted on there, the different handlebars. I, I hooked that thing up to the way I like it. There are some great headlights. Um, get the ones that when you lean the bike, they turn on a, they turn on the side elements to light up the, the turn. Huh? What? Really? Are not overly expensive. Some have the turn signals inside the lamp too. Okay. I'll check that. Yo, Russell, you, you know, you know, um, my Instagram, send them to me. I want to check them out. Grizzly, Grizzly, Grizzly. Okay, so you want, you want to see the Grizzly unboxing first, the V2? We can see the differences between both of them because there are differences, but like in the handlebars and... 
different size motor, all that stuff. And it kind of hugs, what's going on? Man, I, I'm, I'm really far back. All right, I'll read a couple more comments and we'll get back to the seat. Use this two little straws. I put the little bolts in size. You got it, you got it. But we'll, yeah, we'll do the little one. Need to test the fit, the rack, and make that may help see where the spacers and the other parts go. Good idea, Paltima. D on the zoos. Later, Yoho, if you're still in here. Later, brother. The sleeves do not have a slit, no. Jimmy, finally made it. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Good to see you in the chat, man. Clifton wants a Grizzly V2, of course, of course. Unbox these zoos before the sun comes out so she's ready for it. She can practice in the living room while you film it. <laughs> it's got to warm up for her to get out there. Any headlights replacements for the Super 73 S1? I don't know about the S1, but my RX, I got the, um, the Wicked Thumb headlight on there, and it looks sick, dude. Josephine, thanks, Sienna. I'll be sure to audit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Use the codes, use the codes, guys. If you guys are interested in any bikes on the channel, make sure you guys use the codes. My buddy Clarks wants to see you add a battery blender to the X52. Oh, battery blender. I actually have, crap, I thought that was my freaking drink. I got another battery blender right here. So. There we go, D's helping now, finally. You could, can you turn that down so they don't hear the, uh, that's the battery blender. What type of uh, what type of riding do you do you plan on doing? Um, I think that if you go with the Grizzly, huh, what's it? They might not have heard me. Can you pray for me? What's her name again? Josephine. 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 Um, what type of riding do you plan on doing between? Um, so that that way I'll I'll kind of gauge which bike is better for you. But let me just explain kind of like the uh, the Grizzly. The Grizzly, if you go with the Grizzly, you're going to have dual motors, dual batteries right from the get-go. So you don't have to worry about any upgrades with the dual batteries. Um, if you plan on ripping on the beach, the sand going in the woods, uh, I think the Grizzly, is, it's going to be for you. That's a badass, freaking fun bike to, to ride around on the sand dunes and like on the beach, in the woods, through crazy fun stuff. Um, so that's more of like, yeah, like an outdoorsy type bike. You can still ride it on, on, on the, um, you know, in the streets, but that's not where it shines. Uh, the Bandit, this is going to be more of, of your, your moped style bike that if you go with this, there's, there's so many different style Bandits that you can go with because now they have the Adventure Kit, which I actually have in a box behind you. <gasps> right here, I got the treaded tires all ready to go. I got the, um, what is that thing that, that raises your, um, your chain? The chain tensioner comes... I'm gonna have to learn how to put that on. So I got the chain tensioner. Um, I forget what else comes with it. I think something with a motor. I, I, I forget what it's, what's in there. <laughs> I forget. I don't know. We'll, we'll do a Mod Mondays Live with Spark and install that, I think. We'll, we'll take a trip up there. But um, what's in, uh, yeah, so this is gonna be more mainly for the, for the road if you do wanna get it registered. But again, you don't have to get it registered and there's so many different styles. You can purchase this bike in a cafe style, in an off-road style, in a straight street, like these are straight street tires. Me personally, I love treaded tires. I like going off-road. Um, and the Super 73, I mean, that's, that's a bike that comes with an awesome community, very, very helpful community. That's pretty much out of every single bike I have here, that has the biggest, most helpful community out there. The Aero Rider does have longer battery life than, than any of them that has a single battery. So hopefully that kind of helps you gauge which one you want more. But if you do want uh, to talk a little more about it, make sure you hit me up through Instagram or Facebook. Find me on there, Shreddy McSkate, and I, I'll definitely help you out. Sometimes I even like FaceTime people to help people out with uh, getting things together on the bike or whatever. But yeah, I showed you guys, that's a battery blender. So that makes it so you can connect two different voltage batteries together at the same time and run them in parallel without having any kind of bad situations on your hands. Did you see Jimmy's question about the headlight for Super 73? It was after we were talking about the headlight. 
No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, if you want, you can, that mic is on the table. You can just hold the on button and just like read, sit right there. Nobody sees you. <laughs> but all right, I'm going to read like three more comments. I'm going to hop on this seat. That's why I like being able to work and then you can read the. But you're already, she's already like popping in and out and talking. So like she might as well help Shreddy out. Guys, tell her to, to help Shreddy out. <laughs> yes um hopefully if spark is watching send me a bunch of stickers so i can send it to all the people <laughs> all right let's see what i need what does shreddy need i need this light right here ah that was freaking bright all right this is the i think that the, the <laughs> One of the last lives, somebody said that's their uh, only my OnlyFans light. <laughs> How crazy is that? I was going to actually turn these up much brighter. What do you guys think? Oh, my God. Should I turn it back down? Right there. That's 50%. That's better. <laughs> All right. What do I need? What do I need? I need... I'm not going to even pull the camera, like, super duper close. That way you guys can see exactly... You know, you can see me, and I, I can tell you what I'm doing. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws on there. I think when I put this back together, I'm only going to put the four on there because there's really no need for so many. Was that first T? Yo, that was first. No. No. no that couldn't have been first T. Hold on. Yo. <laughs> That was first tee, guys. Let's go. All right. I mean, that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. Need one of these into one of these. All right, hold on. What are we? We're at three eighths. All right. Ah. Oh, so in the comments, guys, let me know what's your favorite kit for the Bandit. Like, go on their website right now if you guys have a computer or open another browser or whatever. And check out their uh, all their different kits they have. Let me know which one's your favorite. Me, Adventure Kit is the way to go. And then, I don't know if you guys saw that they have the new a new bike coming out. It's called the Javelin, so I'm pretty excited to see that. Hopefully, um, they'll have me up there sometime this year to try that out and show you guys what that thing's all about. I would love, love to see that thing. There we go. Hopefully soon, um, I know Spark's been super busy. Hopefully soon, they'll have different options for seats. I'm gonna grab the, uh, the other seat that I got from OC Cafe Racer and just like kind of stick it on top to show you guys what it would look like with a, another seat. Oh, the horn's right there. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, that fits. What's going on? Oh, went to Titan. Let me know if you guys hear the rain. That's like my favorite thing ever, dude. Like when I was a little kid, I lived in, I lived in Puerto Rico and we had those windows that would open like that straight to the outside. There wasn't like a screen or anything. And then our roofs were, were tin roofs, the, the house that I lived in. So you would hear the rain and that would put me to sleep. I'd sometimes sleep uh, out front on the porch on a hammock. Like that was my favorite thing to do. I, I love the hammock. And when I was like, I think I was eight years old, I was in the... Hurricane Hugo, we sat out outside on a house with house on stilts, and we sat out on the porch and watched most of it. You know, we had to go inside at some points, but I saw a, a roof go flying across the street. There was a guy out in the street. He got hit by the tin roof, which it didn't like kill him or anything, but it knocked him to the ground. I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, but that was pretty. That was a crazy freaking storm, man. 
it was crazy, the eye of the storm, like the, the, everything just got sunny and, and the wind stopped, the rain stopped, like, and then it came back <laughs> with a passion. Pretty crazy. Hurricane Hugo. Look it up, guys. Look it up. All right, let me not lose any bolts. Oopsies. <laughs> Lock that in. Oh, man, I shouldn't even, I should not have put the back bolt on. Hopefully that's not too loud. Sorry, guys. It's a tight area to work in. There you go. Sorry if I'm mooning you guys. I don't know if my freaking pants are falling. Feels like they are. This screw at the bottom got like a lot tighter. Jeez, come on now. Just get, see that's, that's another reason why I'm not putting this screw back on. <laughs> screw you, screw. <laughs> get out of here, come on. I thought I was done. I gotta get around to the other side, hold on. Get under. It isn't a mod Mondays without running into a problem. It seems like that's that bolt's a different size. Is there something going on with me? <laughs> hold on. Oh. Let me try something. screwing it? Oh, well, it's working with my fingers. And this one got tighter at the bottom too. What are you doing to me? Make sure you're going righty tighty lefty loosey. <laughs> This screw's never going back on either. <laughs> oh man, it's coming down out there. You hear that rain D? The rain D. All right, goodbye seat. Remember I told you I'm gonna try out. Hold on, am I missing something? Let me just make sure. Oh, there was one more screw got, yo, you guys didn't tell me. <laughs> Why did you tell me? Oh, it's a screw that's holding my horn on. But it holds the seat on too. I want to get the cucaracha horn on this thing. Golly. Longest screw ever. That screw has definitely got to go back in. I'm just gonna set the horn right there. Please don't fall horn, you're gonna fall. I know you're gonna fall. All right, seat. Make sure the sucker comes off this time. Hey, let's go. So this seat has two here, two here, two here. Kinda looks like the freaking my grizzly seat. Hold on. Let me check, let me check. Ah, here it is. Yo, that's like almost, Dude, oh, that's so close, guys. So freaking close. It, ah, that would be awesome if it worked. Oh, let me bring that up higher. Ah, that's close. So this is a seat I got from OC Cafe Racer, the new Grizzly seat. I just wanted to see what like, you know, different seat on there would look like. That looks cool. <laughs> 
I actually like the more sleeker seat instead of like the super popped up on the back seat. I kind of like it like that. That's like cat Caterpillar style stitching. Man, if that would fit, that'd be so sick. Might have to hit up cat OC Cafe Racer to see if he'll make some seats for the, uh, the bandits. That'd be sick. Ah, oh, man. That makes me sad. I wish I had that seat. Um, guys, I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway here soon for, for that seat. That's for Super 73. So I'll be doing a giveaway on that one. And also, I think uh, I have the 10-speed kit for the Super 73. I might, have, might even do a giveaway for that Ugh, soon. All right. What were we doing, guys? Can, can I make it fit? <laughs> Joe, what's going on, brother? <laughs> what the hell? Zoos. All right, all right, all right. We're going to see if it fits. Hold on. Uh, then, I'll, then I'll go to like comment reading Q&A and everything after I get the rack on. I mean, you guys tell me if you guys like my rack. It's nice. <laughs> Can you guys see? Put the seat over there. All right. Oh, huh, that's cool. Let me move this bag on one second. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool though, come on. You can't tell me that's not badass. That is fun. Uh oh, that's the one thing though is I gotta figure out. I don't want that little notch getting stuck behind anything. Oh, there we go, I think we're good. I think I got it locked. All right, all right, let's do this guys, let's do this. So you guys wanna get a little bit closer? That's my battery pack that's attached to my phone that's making that noise. All right, so we got the screw, the little sleeve, and the bolt. All right, let me put the bolt over here. So the sleeve I'm gonna put in between the little, oh, right there. That's a tight fit. I should get scissors and kind of just cut it to the right size. But I think it'll work. There we go, that worked. And then the second one, boom. Oh, let me put the screw on in a, oh, washers, washers. I think that's to keep it tight. So let me split the washers, hold on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Just in case. I don't know if I need four washers on the back or what. Let's see, let's see. Do I need, do I even really need the washers? Okay. Maybe, I, do you think I need, do you think I should put a washer there? Oh, that won't work because, that won't work. No, this is not for that. What is this for? Matt, tell me what that's for. <laughs> All right. All right, so there's that little wire for the light. Get that out of the way. There we go. Straight through. And boom, put this little bolt right in the back here. <clears throat> Let me tighten up this light right quick. Oops. I feel like I'm gonna forget to tighten up this this headlight. <laughs> like it's gonna fall off while I'm riding. Not gotta be cool. All right, that's tight. That's really tight. All right. I'm like scared as hell that thing's gonna fly open and smash me right in the freaking face. All right, let's see. We need a screwdriver. What is that, a Phillips head? No, 
this the other side? Yeah, it's one of those dual-sided bad boys. All right. And then, and then, I have to figure out what size the back ones are there. Let's see what this is. Smaller than that. Nope, well, can't be that one. Let's see, maybe one of these guys. Look, look, look where are we at? Nine millimeter? Are you a nine millimeter? Yes, you are. Look at that. All right, now I gotta get that little attachment guy. Boom. Nine millimeter. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Hmm. I hope this is gonna be tight enough. Like. Not a nine, for some reason that's like, weird. Not a nine. It's not a nine. There we go, that fits better. What number is it, what are we at? That's eight. The eight fit way better. Hmm. Maybe I do need washers for this. Yeah, because now that's like, I don't know if you guys can see. See how long the screw is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's hope, let's hope it doesn't rattle. Uh. Maybe when the seat's on there, that'll be a lot better. Because I don't see that getting too super tight anyways. All right, we'll see guys, we'll see. That's what Mod Mondays are all about. <laughs> we'll just get this sucker as tight as possible. And guys, if you guys have any questions about any of, of the other bikes on the channel, definitely drop them down in the comments. I'll get to them after we're finished with this. All right, now I got all the way to the end. There we go. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens when we get the seat on. I'm sure it'll stop it from moving too much. I'm gonna back this camera up a little bit. Ugh. Ooh, my plants, don't kill my plants. If you guys know about, about plants, I gotta figure out how to, how to uh, keep, get this sucker to come back to life. But this is from California, Mama Shav gave me this. It's actually growing pretty well. And this one, these two also, they were little when I put them in there. <laughs> but I need help with knowing what to do to get this back to life. <laughs> I got this one, this one's thriving. All right, let me, let me get back to this. <laughs> all right, got all my bolts and stuff down here and I forget what size this was. Uh, do you guys remember the size these bolts were? <laughs> I'm thinking. Da, da, da. That doesn't go there. There, let's see. Not that. There we go. Found it. What was it? Was it is, is it a 10? Oh no. We'll see. I'm only putting four back. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> Don't put all of them back. It makes it so hard.
I'm just gonna get everything like kind of started. Finger tight. Finger tight. Oh man, I need to get a trip back out to Cali here soon. I freaking love riding out there with you guys. Oh, can't forget my horn. <laughs> I forget which one, was. I guess it was on that one. Oh, there we go. Keep one finger up there to hold the washer. Get that bolt on there. Good. One more. There we go. Now I'm gonna pretty much like go through everything and tighten everything down that I totally forgot to tighten. <laughs> Doing righty tighty, yep. I'm glad we actually got through like a lot of this Mod Mondays pretty easy without uh, too many mishaps, really. <laughs> I think when when we do the Mod Mondays with Spark, um, with a chain tensioner, I hope I don't have any problems with that. I I I, I think I should be able to do that pretty good. I like learning with you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys teach me a lot. You guys do. And if you guys ever have any bikes that you want to see on the channel, definitely uh, send it through Instagram or Facebook. Definitely want to see what you guys are interested in, in seeing on the channel. Do you help me? She doesn't love me. Just four guys, just four this time. Crap, I might have to put the ones in the back down to hold the freaking, uh, the rack a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It moves a little bit, but not too much. I think that's fine. There we go. And then when you get stuff in there, it's gonna hold it down. So I'm not worried about getting that like on there, like squeezing super tight, but I think that's good. What do you thought? Do you guys think I should put the, at least one screw in the back? I think I will. Just one, right? The one on the rack side, kind of maybe hold it down better. I don't know. No, I just hate having so many screws <laughs> to unscrew when I got to switch out seats. We're doing it. I'll come to the comments here soon, guys. I know you guys have some questions or... Oh, <laughs> Come on, pull it down. Now it's not screwing. <laughs> Jeez, that's a long screw. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of happy I, I screwed out that one down. It did help with stabilizing the rack a little bit better. 
Yay! I'm gonna turn this light off because it's hurting my freaking eyes. Woo! Look at that, guys. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> that side, that side, that side. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, the little freaking... Ah, there we go. I'll just keep it on that side. There we go. Let me make sure it doesn't go... Okay, perfect. That, that little, like, clip was backwards. I forgot to, like, clip it before. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Dude, look at that, guys. I got the freaking... I got a cargo bandit. I kind of want one on both sides now. I got a cargo freaking uh, <laughs> cafe bandit. Cargo cafe. This is the cargo cafe bandit. I'm going to call this one. <laughs> but once I get the adventure kit, it's going to be the adventure cargo cafe. <laughs> adventure cargo cafe bandit. Hold on. It went back behind again. Oh, it does. Can it go through? Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> It, it can, the little clip can actually fit through. There we go. All right, I'm not worried about that. Dude, this bike is sick now. Can I sit on it? Am I allowed to sit on the bike? I just want to see what it feels like with the fairing on the front. Oh, there's so many bikes in here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's sick, dude. That's awesome. I don't know if I want to tilt it forward more or back. I think that's good right there. Hell yeah! <laughs> Freaking A. Let me sure. These guys are, are not like super duper tight. I'm just hoping they don't rattle off. <laughs> I'll, I'll go through with the Allen key and a. And a uh, I'm gonna ratchet. Later, not now. <laughs> I'm gonna go through comments now, guys. I wanna hang out with you now. Let me close this door. It's getting cold in here. Ooh, the job is done. Oh, Sauron, I miss you, Sauron. You guys wanna see the Sauron, what, what Sauron's doing? <laughs> oh, everything's getting tangled up. My Sauron, just waiting out. <laughs> waiting at the door, wanting to go outside. Like me every day, just looking out the window. <laughs> All right. Yep, I'm putting the tools away in the right spot. Because <laughs> I'm missing two now. I'm missing two. What's going on? Don't you hate that when you have like all these little tool spots and then you, they start like going missing? <laughs> and it's like plain as day. You see it right in front of you. Like, damn, I'm, I lost those tools. All right, so we got the unknown. <laughs> we don't know where this goes, where the washers went. Unknown washers, let's throw them on the ground, picking up change. So the unknown washers, and then these unknown earplugs that, I mean, you could probably really use them as earplugs. It's not me. Cool, well, I got a bunch of extra washers. Watch um, Matt the engineer hit me up and be like, dude, you needed it for this. <laughs> like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> All right, battery blender, set you over here. Let me, let me drink a little bit of water. I'll, I'll go through the comments. If I missed your comment earlier, if I don't go like up high enough, just ask me again. Let me see how far, holy moly. There's a lot of comments, guys. Let me turn this up. Where are my glasses? I can't see that well without my glasses anymore. Yeah, guys, I, I do love, I, I have the battery blender on this bandit right in here. So I could open that up and show you the battery blender that these two batteries are connected right into there with the controller connected to the battery blender and then the two batteries connected. This is a 48 volt battery um, and this is the 52 volt battery. Adding the 52 volt battery gets you a little bit of more top end speed on this bad boy. ¿Qué pasa, hermano? Taino, Ricardo, what's going on, brother? Richie the toy maker in the chat. They should unbox it in the spring. That's a good idea. I think we should unbox the zoos in the spring when people are really ready to get some e-bikes. Right now, people don't want to be out, out there around here, at least on the East Coast. You West Coast and uh, Florida guys, man, I'm jealous. 
Use the two little straws. Okay, well, I'm really far back. Need to test fit the right. You can see. I saw that. Da, 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 da. So, okay, so Josephine, if you're still in here, you said uh, mostly street commuting and joyriding. Also looking to do some deliveries with it. Man, if you want to, dude, <laughs> you can even do deliveries with this. <laughs> The little cargo bandit. You can do the cargo bandit for deliveries. Get the dual batteries on there. You'll be able to go really far. And you can't go wrong with, with, the, with the Grizzly either. But if you are interested in any of the bikes, I'm sure D probably said it in the comments here that I didn't get to yet. Um, you can use code Shreddy to get $100 off of the bandit. Or if you want the Super 73, I do have a link down in the description of this live. Uh, I think it's like $75 off. I'm not sure if it's still the thing where you have to purchase hundred dollars worth of their clothing, which I don't understand why they did that. It's crazy to get seventy-five dollars off your bike. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, you're welcome, Josephine. Jimmy, uh, how much does I don't know? You're asking this. This cost? I think. I think you can get this on Amazon. If I can find this thing on Amazon, I'll, I'll, I'll slap it in the description or I'll just send it to you through Instagram. Does the battery blender help to be the same voltage? I don't know what you mean by that, but um, it makes it so you can blend the two different voltage batteries together. But if you want, you can do two dual 48 volt batteries or dual 52 volt batteries. But what the blender does, like if one has a fuller charge than the other, it'll bring that fuller charge out to the, um, the lower charge one, and then it'll drain them together. <laughs> Help the boy. I need one of those lights. A light, I don't know. Are you talking about these or the, um, the wicked thumb headlight? That's, I love that freaking light, man. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. <laughs> It's on the uh, the Grizzly and the Super 73. I'm going to try to put the, the cat next to the phone. So it doesn't look like you guys watching me my head down like the whole freaking time. I'm, I'm trying to get through all these comments. A lot of you guys are talking to each other, so hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get through that stuff. Well, I never knew you grew up in Puerto Rico. Same here. Hell yeah. I was born in Rio Piedra, then I lived in San Juan with my grandparents. Donald Bug. Uh, Yellow Wolf is actually one of my favorite, 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 favorite um, singer or rapper or whatever. His new freaking song, like that rock and roll song, is freaking badass if you guys haven't heard that one. Yeah, Yellow Wolf is one of my favorite. And then I, I just got into uh, the guy that he raps with, Kasky, I think his name is. Kaske, Kasky. Also with my parents in the Hurricane Hugo. Really? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Man, we, we could have been hanging out. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> Josephine, that's what I was thinking, Dana. I like how the bandit has, has more to... To it with the mirror, the lights, and also the customization, but also the Grizzly is a little bit better range even with the dual battery. But what's awesome, you can you can get more range if you do the dual 48 volt batteries. So this is a 24.4 amp hour battery, so you can have 20, 48, 49 <laughs> amp hours. Marcel says unbox the zoos. <laughs> Josephine, oh, the batteries. Hold on, I wanted to read this earlier, Joe. I, I saw that pass by. <laughs> I hope God you vacillated your sphincter before you started gaining that shine valve all squared up against, again, it's a hassle. Dude, your words are great, dude. It's hilarious. Oh my God. So Jimmy, you think that looks cool? Yeah, I agree, man. That does look pretty neat. I was thinking about getting different handlebars. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with the handlebars? What? What? You'll take that ten speed? <laughs> I think it might be a seven speed. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. I wish I knew where where that was. 
What was I doing? Nice rack. Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy, that's that's how it opens. Yeah, man, I'm I'm actually scared to <laughs> close that thing. I think I'm freaking open and just like scrape the back of my head open. Will the rack fit in the back? Are you talking about like back here? I it kind of looks like it it, it would. I, I should have freaking I wish I was reading through the comments because I would have saw that and I could have tried that. Actually, it looks like it may. And if not, you can maybe have to like bend these little things in a little bit closer, but I think it would fit there. Damn, I wish I would have saw that. You, 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 Monia? I don't know how to say that name. I'm sorry, dude. Zip tie the crap out of it, then use blue Loctite on the screws. You know how I love using that blue Loctite. I, I smurf it out. That's what we call it. We smurf it out with blue Loctite. <laughs> water, water. Oh, Leo, thank you. Uh, so you think I should put this in a bigger pot? I agree. I, I think I, I don't know if that's the right soil <laughs> or not either. I, I just put whatever soil I had and... Let it go. I've had I've had the um, the aloe plant for like two years though, but it's not doing it too good. Like little ones are still growing though. I don't know. They're they're popping up here and there. Joe said, "Yeah, succulents and aloe vera can be pretty difficult at times. They tend to need a little bit drier soil and moderate sunlight. Overwatering them kill some quick peace." So moderate sunlight and not too much water. I've been watering them like every like two weeks and I do put them like right directly in, in sunlight. So I, I don't know. Anaconda hugs, let the skinny one die. Cockroaches like to hang out in the V of leaf outgrowth. The, the, what? <laughs> Nodnarb says, aerial rider being very unreliable and terrible customer service, made me ditch electric altogether, got a gas scooter. What? You gotta tell me about your situation, man. That's crazy. Um, I know they've been having problems with uh, controllers on the Grizzlies, but they're supposedly flashing everyone with, with new uh, firmware on there. So I don't know if that was the problem you're having or just having a problem in general, just contacting customer service. Guys, if you guys need ever, ever need help on these bikes, uh, customer service from those companies aren't getting to you. Let me know. I'll directly contact them and help you guys out. J. Scott Westlake. What's going on, J. Scott Westlake? Uh, those basket, baskets look like they need to go back farther. Look like I might hit them with my heel. Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. But I, I just feel like that's like such a good location. Hmm. Let me Let me sit on on the bike right quick. Hold on, let me just make sure I don't lose that, Jay Scott. All right, I don't wanna lose where I was at on the chat. Hmm, hold on. Hold me, super. Oh, you're right, dude, you're right. No way. I'm going to have to like pedal like with my feet like this. Although to tell you the truth, I don't ever pedal the bandit. So <laughs> I don't, I might not even have that, the problem. I literally never pedal the bandit like ever. This is my moped. <laughs> Man, I can't believe that. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad you said that. I wish I would have read that earlier while I was putting it together. <laughs> I would have tried it back here. Yep, it would have worked there too. But Shreddy don't want to take all those screws off anymore. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's crazy. Hey, thanks Jay for letting me know that. I should have tried pedaling it. But like I said earlier, I, it's my moped. I, I'd never pedal this thing because my mode one my, my pedal assist, like mode one, it goes like 20 miles an hour. I wish there was a way to set it to go like in mode one, be like 10, eight. And it kind of uh, says, take the back seat off before you secure the seat, spread out the strap so it won't wobble and rattle as much. Uh, I, I think we're good. 
I, I think I might have to take it off later on after I finish the live, or maybe I'll go on a few rides with it. And if I do end up pedaling more than I, I, I do, uh, I might have to switch it, take the seat off, take that off, put it back here. See, if Spark would have answered, <laughs> he would have let me know too. <laughs> Darn it. Mr. E from NYC, what's going on, brother? I'm so stoked you're in a chat. You made it. You're not late, bro. We're here. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Monday. I can't believe it's Monday. 43 people hanging out on a Monday. I really appreciate you guys joining the stream. Definitely, definitely, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be here. I definitely want to thank all you guys. You guys rock. I love this cup. <laughs> Mr. E. Darn it, I'm going to have to switch that up, guys. <laughs> Paltima said, sorry, I had to step away because the house is filling up with smoke. Had a fire in the basement. Dude, are you okay? Holy crap, man. Yeah, Paul, let us know what's going on, man. There was like a house at uh, our next door neighbor's house caught on fire and we were the first ones to see D called 911. And I ran over there and started knocking everybody's door. Little lightheaded right now? Dude, is everything okay? Nothing caught on, like, is, is everything okay in your basement? Damn, yeah. Blake, I agree. I hope all the family and animals are okay. Yeah, open all the windows. Uh, man, hopefully there's not a, a lot of water everywhere. Exhaust fan on. Yeah, open all the windows. Get all the freaking fans on the windows. Blow all that crap out, man. Dude, that's crazy. I'm sorry that happened, Paltima. Blake McDowell said, just refunded my D-Class and got the Zoos 1100. Do you guys think that was a good choice? Besides the fact that... Um, Besides the fact I just like it aesthetically way more. Dude, I love my Zoos. That's definitely a good choice. 1100 is a fun, a fun bike. And um, just know that you can fill those tires up to 60 PSIs, which what I did. But that ride was so hard, it, it hurt your biscuits. Um, I put it down to 30 PSI, and that's perfect for me. You can do 30. Between 30 and 33 is what they recommend. I can't wait to, to pull out the 750. Everybody says that the Zoos 750 has more low-end torque. Then 1100, I can't wait to test that out. I can't wait to keep modding my zoos. You guys saw that I put the new uh, grips on there. I'm gonna look for some camouflage tires and I still can't find them in the, what are they, 24 inch ones? If you guys can find me tires for the zoos and camo, I will love you forever. <laughs> Gotta make sure things are under control. I'll check back if I can. Everything is okay though. All right, good to hear, Paul. I'm a man. Just get all that stuff taken care of. Oh man, that, that's a bummer. On the bandit, don't shock you that Honor doesn't like the bike taller in the back. Hold on, let me reread that. On the bandit, don't shock you that I, I don't know. You got to rewrite that for me. <laughs> uh. Did you find the camo tires? Ah, oh, no, I did not. <laughs> Just said that. It's funny. Don't get those horrible lower suicide shaver bars. Not. Nah, um, I don't. I do not like. I've ridden a few bikes with those low handlebars. I hate that position. It doesn't feel comfortable, and it just doesn't feel safe to me. I don't know. Some of you guys I know love love that aggressive position. I can't. Chef. Uh, let me, I hope I say your name right. Shanoir, Shanoir Cross. Chef Shanoir Cross. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thanks for the hundred dollars off. And I appreciate you guys using those codes too. Cause when you guys use those codes, it does help support the channel. I do get a little bit of money, a little kickback from the purchases and all that goes straight back to the channel on new gear, new bikes, all that stuff. DJ said, tell my daughter, my daughter to stop being scared and let me get her an e-bike. Yes. How old is, is she? How old is she? They have so many different uh, style e-bikes too for, for smaller kids. 
But dude, that would be awesome. You should definitely get an e-bike. Ride, ride e-bikes are fun. You will have the most fun ever once you get it down. You can even ride on the beach. That's the most fun ever. <laughs> Jimmy's back, back again. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Had to walk the dog. Dude, the dog has to go out and poop and pee, man. <laughs> Just like us. Super 73 actually would be a pretty good one for your daughter, but depending on, on how old she is, I don't know how tall. Is she like D's height, five foot three? She, D has a very hard time fitting on any of my taller e-bikes back here, but the zoos, I think she'll be okay with the platform shoes. Yeah, the ZX, I wanna say that's like a, about the same height as the zoos. And I, I think the ZX is, Taller than the original Z. I, I don't. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Can I can I go out in the rain with a grizzly? With all these e-bikes, you can pretty much go out in the rain, but you don't want to go out in like torrential downpours where you're going to be going through like super deep puddles or anything. But I've I've been stuck on on the rain with a few of the bikes and I haven't had any issues or anything. I've even like sprayed my bikes down with the hose after getting them super muddy and I still haven't had any issues. Just keep it away from the controllers, any kind of open ports or anything. Charge port, you don't want to spray water or anything in there. Blake said, I, I bet that would start a, a huge love for adventure with her pops. That would be awesome. Both of you like freaking ripping around on e-bikes, finding cool trails, finding cool places. That's the thing I love about e-bikes. It's like, you can go really far on them, a lot farther than a regular bike, because like on a regular bike, you're gonna get tired. On the e-bike, you can even pedal it and then turn on the battery and keep going farther and just find different areas that you've never explored before or that you've never, that you could never get to, you know? She's fighting me on it, but I know she will. She, she has to. She's got to get one. J. Scott Westlake says, I'm thinking of getting that exact same bike. I was looking at the Aerial Rider uh, 52X, but, I'm, but I think I will get one. The one that you have, the one you're working on right now. Uh, J. Scott, make sure if you, if you do go to the website, click the link down there to get to it. Use code SHREDDY. Uh, get $100 off any of the Bandits or any bike there at Spark Cycle Works. They have other bikes also. Between the Bandit and the Grizzly height-wise, is either one better for shorter person? I'm only five foot three. That's how tall D is. She's actually five foot three, and she does have a hard time getting on all my bikes. Um, where's my tape measure? So I would think, man, you would. Ugh, I don't know. Let me tell you the Bandit seat height. The Bandit seat height is about 33 inches. Ugh. I'm, while I'm, I'm here, I'm just going to tell you the zoo's seat height. I hope you guys can still hear me pretty well. It's about 30 and an eighth. Uh, let's just say 30 inches for the zoo's seat height. And then the Super 73 with this seat is about 30, almost 32 inches. And then the Grizzly with the stock seat... is about 33 inches. So, if you can get a tape measure and then measure 33 inches to see how, you know, or hopefully you wrote, wrote down all the sizes I said just now. So 33 inches is about, you know, that high if you can put your legs around, you know what I mean? So just get a tape measure and rewind and, and uh, write down all the sizes I just told you. <laughs> rewind time. More, more questions. We've been live for a while. I might, I might end it soon. Let me just go through some more of these questions. So Josephine, um, you might want to get um, like platform shoes if you do end up going with the taller bikes. But the Zoos is the shorter one out of all of them. Paltima. 
Update. Pultum update. Okay, I'm back. Fireplace ash pit caught on fire. Someone had been dropping unburned scrapes down there. And they ignited. Oh my freaking goodness, dude. Now that's like something you got to keep a look at all <laughs> for. Scraps, not scrapes. I got gotcha. you. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Ride safe. Later, DJ, if you're still in here. Raphael, that's the reason I took off the basket because the heel was always head in it when it was open. Damn. Dude, like, oh, the, the basket wouldn't fit on the very back because it would hit the tire. But I am going to try to move it back here to see if I, I'll still hit the heel. We'll see. I don't know. I'm late, but I'm here. Shout out to Shreddy. Mob Genius TV. What's going on, brother? You got the coolest freaking Suron out there, man. <laughs> I need to get down to Texas and hang out with you and the crew, man. Bring my Suron. I, I kind of want to get uh, uh, my Suron a little spruced up like yours. That thing is sick. Hey, Loon, if you don't know Mob Genius TV, check him out on uh, Instagram and check out his freaking Suron. It's sick. Oh, she's 15. Dude, yeah, get her, get her a freaking, get her on an e-bike. 100%. Do you see the, the, uh, dude, that spark is sick. How does it compare to the, to the Grizzly? Um, they're all great in their own sense, man. This thing is, is an awesome moped to ride on the streets. And then, like I said, the Grizzly, man, I, I, I take that in the woods. I, I guess I take this in the woods too, and I'm going to be taking it in the woods even more after I, I put the adventure kit on there. But man, just all e-bikes in general are, are fun. I don't know if you guys watched the last video, like I think every single bike and ride that I have in here, scooters, one wheels, like everything is fun in their own little ways. And it's, it's weird to explain it until you actually like get on different e-bikes and try them all. Like you'll find yourself doing different things on the, on each e-bike. You guys will watch my videos and you can see, you'll see how I ride each different e-bike totally different. Even Jimmy said, get an e-bike. Jimmy, tell her, tell her, get an e-bike. Five foot even, hmm. I mean, yeah, she could, she could fit the Z and the ZX and everything. But man, she might want to get platform shoes to make it easier to uh, to get on and off the bike. But some there there is like some shorter riders that can get on the bikes really good by you know mounting the bike by just putting one foot on here and kind of kicking off and then swinging over and getting off on it or whatever. But that really depends on how comfortable they are on with riding bikes and everything. Rob F. Hey, from SoCal, thanks for the videos. They helped me decide on bikes for myself and my wife. Hey, Rob F., thanks so much for joining the live. I appreciate you, man. I really do. And actually, let us know what bikes did you go with uh, from the channel. DJ should buy two $10 taco cards from Taco Bell. Then you and your daughter can ride to Taco Bell every day to get your free tacos. That'd be fun too, yeah. <laughs> but you can ride to the beach. That's, that's the most fun. Did you address tax incentives? No, I actually didn't even look at that. We actually did a, um, a Wicked Wednesdays where we talked all about that, but I'm not, I didn't research to see if that passed or anything yet. I got to do my taxes soon, so I better check that out. Maybe we'll do a Wicked Wednesday this Wednesday and we'll, we'll bring that up. Can you measure the Suron seat height? I can do that. Uh, I have the upgraded Luna seat, so it's gonna, it might be a little bit higher. I think it makes it a little bit taller with that seat. Um, but yeah, so I will check that out for you, AZN Drifter 204. Loon said he'll check you out, Mob. Heck yeah, vote for little boots, leather shorts instead of the platform shoes. Mob genius, you did not have to send that, bro. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that, dude. That's going towards uh, towards hooking up the Suron. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. You rock, man. Everybody, go follow Mob Genius TV. He puts out some fun content. Later, Angelo. Have a good night. 10 o'clock here. I got to go to bed soon. <laughs> for bagel sandwiches. We'll do that, too. <laughs> I'll take a picture of the bagel, my next bagel, and I'll send it to you. The S1 and the S2? Is that what? Okay, you got the S1 and the S2. That's awesome. So you got the S2? 
Or did you get the S1? Or the wife got the S2 or she got the S1? Are there any good mobile charging stations? Um, are you talking about like something you can bring with you? There's a lot of those big like lithium battery things you could bring and, and charge when you stop. But I've never tried them out like the Jackery, I think it's called. Uh, Blake McDonald said, love you guys all. Have a good one, Shreddy and D. I very much appreciate your videos and opinions. Can't wait for more e-bike content. Dude, thank you so much. Thanks for joining, brother, and have a good night. Alfonso Tay, what's going on, brother? Push it back a little bit, a little from over the lights. It's, it is an air deflector. Oh, so put, pull it back a little bit further. F hold on, hold on. Push it back a little from over the lights. It's air deflectors. Like closer to me, like that. I feel like the air will go towards my face. <laughs> Oh no, we'll, I'll mess around with it while I'm riding. I still gotta tighten that down. Oh yeah, and the serum for myself and my son. Almost forgot those. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> you you probably you guys love those things, right? I love my serum, guys. You know it. Oh come on. There we go. Trying to catch up. Sorry, the comments like went crazy on me. So good night, Blake. Rob F. Oh yeah, for the Suron. Okay. If she's five foot, maybe she can do a Suron. Drifter. Okay. Keep tricking yours out. Give us ideas. I am. I am. So Spark's gonna keep on sending me things for the bike to hook up on Mod, Mod Mondays and kind of learn how to install it and show you guys how to do it, or you guys teach me how to do it. Really, Blake. Thank you so much. For the super sticker, <laughs> I guess that's what they call it. I appreciate it, brother. I wish I could give you more, but thanks for the $100 off the zoos. I really appreciate it, dude. You guys don't have to give me anything. I'm here for you guys. All, all you guys got to do is watch the videos, come hang out in the lives. Because I love doing this. I really do love doing this. I'm, I miss you guys the whole time I was sick. Man, I should have done some lives while I was sick, but I was really sick, guys. It was... It was pretty, pretty freaking brutal. Oh, let me measure the uh, seat height for the Suron. So this is gonna be the seat height on the Suron with the upgraded Luna seat. And from the ground straight to the top, hold on. Uh, I wanna say it's about 32 and 3 eighths, almost 33 inches. Let's say 30. Let's say about 33 inches. It's about 33 inches. So the Suron with the upgraded Luna seat, it's 33 inches off the ground. But when you sit down, it might take like an inch or, or two off of that. All right. Later, Rob. Later, guys. Guys, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for joining this Mod Mondays. You guys helped me out getting this uh, fairing installed um, when I... When I turn off the live, I'm going to tighten everything back down, get everything situated. <laughs> and uh, man, I, now I'm contemplating taking this off and moving it back just right here. But I think it just looks better there. It looks like it should go there. But I, I'll, I'm going to have to move it back. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, and guys, if you guys do want to support the channel, make sure you guys check out all those e-bike li discount links down below. Check out the link for the Spark Bandit. Use code Shreddy, get $100 off. If the Bandit, if the Spark Bandit is not for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Hold on, let me get closer. There might be a bike you like. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. And um, so make sure you guys drop a like. I don't know how many likes we got on here. 39 people with 34 likes. So before you guys leave the video, please drop a like to help me get in the algorithm. Peace out, my friend. Thanks, bro. That's uh, the 19 inch, right? Um, what are you talking about? The, uh, nine, I got the 19 inch wheels. Yes. Bike will look longer with a basket further back. Okay. I'm going to do that guys. I'm going to do that. So guys, if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button. <laughs> Hold on. I need to get a bell and ringing that notification to be notified when I make videos. <laughs> And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? 
in three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next mod. Thanks, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. You guys all rock. I love you guys all.